others. If you're watching this, you might be looking for training certifications, workshops, webinars, or conferences that is affordable, accessible, reliable, and commendable. Stellar Training Consultancy Services can help you with your certification needs. From leadership and administrative trainings to general topics, we got it all here. With partners being served such as Department of Health, Philippine Coast Guard, Department of Labor and Employment, Department of Trade Industry, and many more organizations and agencies. There's no more reliable provider than STCS. So hurry, send us a message, and find excellence with STCS. Pakinggan mo po ang pagtawag namin sa iyong banal na pangalan. Basbasan mo po ang aming pagtitipon at kami kaluguran mo sa araw na ito. Pagyamanin mo po, Panginoon, at maging nakaayon sa iyong kalooban ang aming pagkikita-kita mula sa simula hanggang katapusan. Masalamin nawa namin ang layunin mong takila sa aming buhay at may sagawa namin ngayon ang aming mga gawain na may kabutihan at pag-ibig sa aming kapwa. Kami po ay naninikluhod sa iyong harapan na kami iyong patnubayan at iwaksi sa aming kaisipan ang anumang masasamang kaisipan Inget at pakikipag-alit sa aming mga kasama. Bigyan mo kami ng sapat na lakas at katalinuhan upang maibahagi naman namin ang aming makakaya sa aming mga kasama sa pagtitipon na ito. Panalangin namin ang lahat ng ito sa pangalan ng iyong bugtong na anak na si Jesus. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang
Hello, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you please give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, please? All right, thank you so much. All right. All right, thank you so much. I hope you can also see me now. Um, currently, Sir Alan cannot connect to the, the original uh, trainer for this one, cannot connect to the um, training. So I will be replacing Sir Alan of the moment. All right, so we apologize about that one to the technical error. So this afternoon, we will be talking about the practical workplace leadership skills. So, yeah. so as a leader, we all know that there are sets of skills or um, you know, leadership skills that we needed to have, especially in our um, the way how we handle our people, the way how we develop our people. We all have or we are all using certain leadership skills. Now, this afternoon, um, we will be talking about those skills. What are those skills? Essential skills or core skills. Yung tinatawag natin na 21st century skills, no? Yung 21st century skills that are um, very essential and uh, needed when we are handling people. Ayan. So we have our training rules here and it was already forwarded to you. It was already sent to you. Okay. For our intended learning outcomes, participants will be able to understand importance of having sets of leadership skills in the workplace. Our set of learning outcomes number two, participants will be able to learn and visualize interpersonal skills and intrapersonal skills. Participants will be able to reflect on how personal skills and intrapersonal skills are being practiced in the workplace. Participants will be able to identify effects of each given interpersonal skills and intrapersonal skills. And participants will be able to absorb practices that are essential in developing practical leadership skills in the workplace. All right. So these are our goals for this afternoon or our intended learning outcomes. Okay. So basically, if I may ask our participants, what are the skills you think? No? What are, uh, give me at least two skills, no? two skills you wanted to prioritize as a leader. You may type it in the chat box or if you wanted to turn on your microphone, that's totally fine. I appreciate that one. You may type it in the chat box, okay? So what two um, leadership skills you would like to have or prioritize? Two leadership skills you would like to prioritize. Okay. Okay. Again, you may type it in the chat box if you, um, if you if you wanted to answer. All right. So we have, by the way, we have seventeen. No, we are all seventeen in the, in the um training. And I do hope that they're able to participate uh, during the discussion as well. Huh? And uh, the copy of these training resources will also be for, uh, for forwarded to you together with the recording of this session. I am. So you may type in what two, at least two, not two skills you would like to prioritize as a leader. I am. Anyone? Any answer? We have no answers yet on the chat box. All right. We have one from Mam Novelia. Ability to communicate. Delegation of responsibility. Oh, yeah, and I love those. No? Basic uh, skills that a leader should have is the way, no? um, the communication skills. When we say communication skills, we're not talking about being able to fluently speak specific language. Okay. When we talk about communication skills, it's a skill, you know, being able to pass on knowledge or idea onto someone without any difficulty. Now, we are not talking about any language here. You can talk any specific language, but if hindi mo naman alam kung paano ipaintindi yung gusto mong sabihin sa isang tao, then definitely that is not good communication skill. And as a leader, that is one of the things that we wanted to have, no? 
the communication skills. Aside from that is the delegation of responsibilities. It is a must know that as a leader, we know how to trust in pa paano natin um, i-delegate yung ating mga tasks, no? especially if we are heavily loaded with tasks. As a leader, we should know how to delegate those tasks, specific small tasks, no? para alam natin paano bawasan yung ating load in the workplace. Ayan. So that when we delegate tasks, we are able to focus on a more uh, complex and more urgent task, di ba? Some of the leaders actually, ito yung pinaka problema yung delegation of task kasi hindi nila alam no paano magdelegate ng task pri uh, um, primarily. Maybe for the reason of they are afraid that the task may fail, no? Or the reason that the uh, um the the part of uh, the employee may surpass them, but Nonetheless, as a leader, no, kailangan talaga nating magdelegate ng task because that is one way for us to motivate our people, to give them um, motivation, urge to work and perform well. Ayan. Sabi ni Ma'am ma Mary Ann, organizational skills and problem-solving skills, definitely we needed to have these skills as well. Good decision-making and communication skills, sabi ni Sir John Michael. Ayan, Sir so, uh, Romnick, managing conflicts, managing um, conflicts and problems, solving strategies. Ayan, excellent. Si Ma'am Zoe naman, ability to teach skills and relationship building, team building skills. Ayan, welcome back again, Ma'am Zoe and Sir Romnick. Thank you so much. So, nakasama ko sila kahapon sa training. Apparently, si Sir Alan yung dapat mag-train sa inyo today. Pero hindi siya makakonect, no? Kasi may, may um, problema. Sino bang nasa Mindanao ngayon, di ba? May problema sa mga connection dito sa Mindanao. <laughs> Ayan, nag-advisory yung PLDT. And luckily, hindi kami naapektuhan even doon na nasa Mindanao kami. Ayan. Team building skills. Ayan. Exactly. Kailangan din yan as a leader. That's one of the practical workplace leadership skills, no? Kasi you are handling people, diverse people. So, kailangan alam natin no, kung paano mag-create ng engagement between our people. Without this engagement, without thinking of what we can do to make engagements with our people, mag-feel nila na may supervisor ba tayo? May kasama ba tayo dito? Parang wala namang ganap yung ating trabaho dito. Nandito nga tayo, nagtatrabaho, kumikita. Yes, that's given, no? Hindi naman natin yan pwedeng um, tanggalin sa ating mga empleyado. But to add more sweetness, no? To add more sweetness onto their jobs, no? Like creating engagement, team building, no? Um, outreach program, yan, charity works, no? If that's going to be given to them, they will definitely feel that, wow, parang roller coaster pala itong ano natin, atong um, itong uh, trabaho natin kasi it's very exciting. Hindi siya stagnant, hindi siya repetitive. Diba? So, napakaraming kailangan nating idagdag, no? And meron pa tayo dito, sabi ni Sir uh, Boots uh, Manolito. Ayan, dispute resolution and command responsibility. Ayan. Exactly, no? May mga conflicts, may mga kailangan tayong uh, arguments na kailangan tayong i-resolve from time to time as a leader. And as a leader, we are expected to be able to resolve those issues at hand para hindi lumaki yung gulo at hindi ito maka-apekto sa ating, sa ating, hindi naman ekonomiya, no? <laughs> pero sa ating workplace. Ayan. Kasi if we are not able to, to resolve these disputes, no? this, will like, uh, this will become like a snowball that keeps on rolling, lumalaki at lumalaki yan. At kapag malaki na yung snowball, hindi na natin mapigilan yan. Just like disputes, arguments, and conflicts, if we are unable to resolve those at an early stage, then definitely it will damage, no? damage and uh, create greater effects to our organization. And we have here, 
from Sir Christian, ability to manage problems, conflicts from work, team members, management. Sir David naman, ability to lead, lead, empathize. Yeah. Thank you so much. Empathy is one of the basic things a human should be doing. No? Kasi with empathy, we are all able to put ourselves into the shoes of others. Ayan, di ba? Si Ma'am Cha naman, ability to motivate team member. Ayan, exactly. Paano ba mag-motivate ng team member, Ma'am? <laughs> Parang sa sayaw, di ba? Kapag may tinuturuan tayo sa um, ng sayaw, di ba? Move, move. Ayan, left, left, right. Ayan. So meron tayong, we motivate them by giving them instructions. We motivate them by becoming a role model to them. Ayan. Sabi naman ni Sir David, Ayan, Sir David, nakailang answer ka na. <laughs> All right. So, Sir David, lead, listen, empathize, advise, and drive. Ayan, parang mga core values ito ng company ninyo, Sir David. Ha? Ayan, so napakaganda, no? We, we listen, we empathize, we advise, and we, we drive. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for your participation, for uh, giving me some, uh, giving everyone some ideas about the practical workplace skills that you wanted to prioritize. All right. So next year, ayan. So meron na, nasagot na natin yan. And nasagot na natin yan. <laughs> All right. So now we go to our introduction of this topic. Let's define first. Um, let's ask ourselves first, why is skill important for leaders? Ayan. Bakit nga ba kailangan? Ayan. Leadership skills can be practiced at any level, regardless of the title you have. They are important skills to have because a good leader is able to bring out the best abilities in his or her team members and motivate them to work together in achieving shared goal. Ayan. So, um, just like, um, just like a robot, diba? you, it, uh, I mean, just like a uh, a car. No, a car. It will not be fully functional. It will not be put into use kapag wala siyang gasoline. Diba? So leadership skill is our gasoline as a leader. No? It will keep us on moving and it will help us direct our people into our specific goals in the organization. Okay? Apart from that, successful leaders are expert decision makers. They either facilitate the dialogue to empower their colleagues to reach a strategic conclusion, or they do it themselves. They focus on making things happen at all times, decision-making activities that sustain progress. So meron tayo ditong dalawang essential skill types of a leader. Ayan. Primarily, we have the interpersonal skills. Second, we have the intrapersonal skills. Now, as you can see here on our picture, Interpersonal skills, as you can see that the arrows, arrows are um, pointing no? away from the person or from this person. Okay? And on the intrapersonal skills, the uh, arrows are pointing towards the person. Okay? The meaning of this is that interpersonal skills are the skills we use no? to interact with our people. Ayan, kaya palabas yung araw niya. Intrapersonal skills naman are the skills that we uh, we use or we manifest in order for us to develop ourselves. Okay? Your interpersonal skills help you collabor collaborate and work with others while your intrapersonal skills help you recognize your own strengths and weaknesses. Intrapersonal skills uh, interpersonal is between two or more people and intrapersonal is between you and yourself. Ayan. Okay? Always remember kapag sinabi natin interpersonal skills, these are the skills that are used to interact with people. Ayan. Kaya palabas yung ating arrows dyan. And our intrapersonal skills are skills that we use to develop ourselves, to be self-aware of our strengths and our weaknesses. Ayan. So let's go to our interpersonal skills. What are those interpersonal skills that we have? Let's check it here. 
Okay? Interpersonal skills are the behaviors and tactics people use to interact with others effectively. Some people are born with them, but they can be learned. Yeah. Interpersonal skills are the skills we use every day when we communicate and interact with other people, both individually and in groups. Ayan. So, um, again, with whatever we are, you know, um, doing, no? if it's connected or if we are engaging with other people, that is interpersonal skills. You may have multiple degrees and years of experience, but that is not what will matter most to your employee. A study conducted by Australian Institute of Management, Education and Training found interpersonal skills to be the most important traits for effective leaders. Ayan. So, meron tayo dito ang um, kasabihan, di ba, na um, I actually have shared this one already to others, no? But we know that altitude, I mean, attitude is better than altitude. Kung baga, sinasabi nila, di ba? Kahit na gaano kalaki or gaano kadami yung experience mo, kahit na gaano kadaming uh, achievements meron ka, if you don't know how to get along with your people, if you don't know, if you don't possess a good attitude, then your people might actually get demotivated, um, may feel down because of the way how you act or interact with them. Ayan. So now um, let's watch this. Okay, let me just, let me just, Okay. Let me just connect this. Share this one to everyone. Topic. Uh, can you please let me know if you can hear the sound? Can you hear it? Three, interpersonal skills. Okay. In this topic, we will talk about interpersonal skills, their importance, and examples of important interpersonal skills in leadership. Besides this, we will also see the difference between interpersonal skills and communication skills. So, what are interpersonal skills? Interpersonal skills are the behaviors and tactics a person uses to interact with others effectively. We use such skills every day and in a workplace, for example, it refers to an individual's ability to work well with others when it comes to communication, listening, and attitude. Interpersonal skills are very important for any leadership role as they help one establish trust and communicate clearly to its team. Let's take a look at the difference between communication skills and interpersonal skills. The main difference between these two is in the definition and objective of each. While interpersonal skills refer to the ability of a manager to communicate and understand his or her team, communication skills, on the other hand, involve your ability to take an idea or set of instructions and convey them to your audience in a manner that is comprehensible. It is however important to note that both communication and interpersonal skills are important, but each is more effective with the other than alone. Some examples of interpersonal skills that are important in leadership include number one, active listening. This is the ability of a leader to purposefully listen and respond to both words and feelings of a team member. The second example is teamwork. This is another great interpersonal skill. It is the ability of a leader or supervisor to effectively work with team members. Number three, flexibility. It is the willingness to compromise or change an opinion for purposes of finding a common ground. Responsibility. A leader who is responsible should be accountable to his team members. 
Another example is problem-solving skills. Problems arise daily at work. A leader has to be able to find a solution to complex or difficult issues. Number six is patience. Good leaders are patient. This means they can tolerate delays or problems without getting annoyed. The seventh skill is empathy. This is the ability of a leader to put themselves in the shoes of another team member. A leader can display empathy at work in a variety of ways. For example, if a team member comes to work late and explains that her child wasn't well and needed to be attended to. And lastly is conflict resolution, which is the process involved in facilitating a peaceful end to a disagreement between team members. So, why are interpersonal skills important in leadership? Number one, it helps foster effective communication. Effective communication requires listening carefully and responding appropriately to your team members, either by email or face to face. Number two, it helps keep the feedback loop open. Feedback is important for personal and professional growth. As a supervisor, it's in order to keep giving feedback to your team members, as well as to enable them to improve on aspects that need to be improved on. Number three is expansion of your opportunities. Through interacting with both your superiors and subordinates, you are able to gain access to more exciting opportunities in the workplace and in the field of expertise. Number four is your team members gain trust and confidence as a result of having good interpersonal skills. Last but not least, it encourages empathy, which helps in motivating your team members because you take into account their thoughts, feelings, and needs, thus motivating them. In summary, it is important for a leader to possess such skills as noted above, and when a leader has them, they will be more successful in both their professional and personal lives. And that's the end of our topic. In our next topic, we will discuss teamwork. All right, so that is our uh, video for the interpersonal skills, okay? So as you may have seen, uh, there are a lot of interpersonal skills that we can actually um, have as a leader. At kailangan, uh, we, know, we, we know what are those skills that we are using or we are giving out to our employees. Now we are showing to our employees because but just like what they said, no, it's better to be self-aware of what skills you have in order for you to be able to use those skills into greater things. Without knowing what your skills are, no, without knowing what your interpersonal skills are, mahihirapan kang makipaghalubilo sa iyong mga, mga empleyado. Kasi itong, uh, just like what I have mentioned, no, just like what we have um, shown on the uh, previous slide, the previous slide, no, dito, that these interpersonal skills are the skills that is evident when you are interacting with people or when you are interacting with your employees or your subordinates. And most of the time, these um, skills are really visible to the eyes of your subordinates. No, makikita nila, as a supervisor, uh, as a boss, uh, magaling siya kasi may mga set of skills siya that are very rare, no? very um, very unique and very useful in the organization. Ayan. So we should be able to use that no? and uh, be able to recognize what our interpersonal skills are. Ayan. So by the way, no, nakapasok na si Sir, <laughs> si Sir Alan. Ayan. Sir Alan, doon ka po ba? Yeah. Hi, Sir Junmar. Hello, participants. I got a very serious technical problem. Talagang nag, nagsabay yung aking internet connection at aking uh, um, power interruption. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Allow me to share my screen, Sir Junmar. I'll take it from here. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So, yeah, my name is Trainer Alan, and I'll vlog takeover ito, Sir Junmar. 
<laughs> okay. So like what was mentioned by okay, Sir Jun Mark. Lang ako, sir, sir Alan dito. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Okay. So Parang it was magiging collaborative na training natin ito. <laughs> team teaching yan sa sa, sa <laughs> kung sa education pa sir, team teaching. All right. So maraming salamat Sir Jun Mark for always being there. Okay. Yeah. All right. My lifesaver for today's video. Okay, dear participants, hello po, ma'am. Uh, we have Ma'am Zoe. Is it Ma'am Zoe or Zoe? Zoe, sir. Zoe. Oh, because I have a I have a Chinese student. Her name is Zoe, but she doesn't want me to call her Zoe. It uh, Zoe. It should be Zoe. <laughs> so I don't. But, but I think that's their um yeah way of uh, pronouncing the name. Okay, the interpersonal skills and the interpersonal skills like what was, uh, what were mentioned by Sir Junmar actually. Tamayon. And uh, we have to have this in the, the workplace. It's also for our own benefit, right? The interpersonal and personal are actually interdependent. Um, okay, I have a question. What do you think or which do you think we should um, we should develop first? Or saan kaya dito ang mahalaga, ang mas mahalaga? Is it interpersonal or intrapersonal? Okay, what about um, yes, I think some um, some of you are typing the chat box, but I'd like to ask. Sige, Mam Ma Mam Love, is it Mam Lovelia? <laughs> San po kaya dito ang mas mahalaga, Mam? Uh, interpersonal or intrapersonal? So someone responded into chat box. Sir Manolito said intrapersonal. Sir Manolito, bakit kaya intrapersonal yung mas mahalaga? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, pleasant uh, afternoon, first. Uh, can you hear me, sir? I'm audible. Yes, yes. Very audible, sir. Very clear. Uh, yeah, I I think basically uh, a person must first uh, develop uh, his or her intrapersonal skill in order for herself or himself to understand more. Because if you don't understand yourself, how can you understand others? You cannot yeah. collaborate. Uh, you you cannot communicate well if you cannot communicate within yourself. So right. I think uh, it's better that uh, uh, we enhance first our intrapersonal skills. Okay, thank you, Sir Manolito, for that answer. So we'll move forward and then yeah, intra first before inter. Also, Sir Ricky supported that the answer. Okay, later on we are going to discuss further on the importance of each leadership skill okay for interpersonal skill what are the interpersonal skills so i'll be asking um ma mary ann are you able to unmute your microphone pa is it okay to let you read what are interpersonal skills yeah here mom on the slide oh i think there is you have a um, technical problem maybe the microphone doesn't work okay Ah, uh, uh, can you speak closer to the microphone, ma'am? Because we're Good afternoon, po. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. Clear na po, sir. Yes, yes, a little clear. Okay. Interpersonal skills affect almost every area of business. Your people's uh, your people skills come into play when you enter into a negotiation, close a business deal, or woo a client. They can help you build partnerships as well as collaborative team environment. If you intend to be a leader and not just a manager, these are the interpersonal skills that you should own. Okay, thank you, Ma Mary Ann, for that. Yeah, we have. Um... All right, so let's have. Um... Okay, we have here. Intra and okay, I th I I think it's a uh, Sir Ricky, <laughs> uh, the last response. Okay, so here are the two, four, six, seven interpersonal skills that we have to develop. These are very important. Um, although intrapersonal for 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 some of us here think that interpersonal are important, but interpersonal also hold that great importance when it comes to our leadership. Um, uh, our in our workplace, okay. Especially if we are leaders, so mamaya po, ma, we will be talking more about each one. And yes, 
Um, kapag kasi tayo ay marunong makihalubilo, we are a team player that works very well for us. Um, although we are entitled to our feeling, we are entitled to our emotion, our our uh, responses. Yeah, yung mga yung parang yung ugali natin, ito na yun eh. Hindi na natin pwedeng baguhin. But in the context of the workplace of your organization, you are not a one man in an island. You have to whether you like it or not, whether that is your nature, um na in, na introvert tayo or gusto lang natin mapag-isa and we are not used to dealing with people, remember that you are in an organization, a team. You have to be a team player and it needs to, okay, of course, at the top of everything that you have to prioritize, you have to develop your interpersonal skills. And here are the seven. Okay, let's have communication. I'll be asking Mom, Mom Jez, kayo po ba ay nasa inyong fast food at resto or nasa bahay? Kasi si Mom Jess had, has been in my trainings. Sinusundan ako ni Mom Jess. I think busy si manager to be. How about Sir Romnick? Sir Romnick, can you read to us what um, does the material ta uh, say about communication? Sir Vance, let us hear from Sir Vance. Christian. Hello, sir. Hi, uh, hello, sir Vance. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what is communication skills, sir? Uh, communication skills are a crucial interpersonal skill or trait that all effective leaders need to develop. Successful leaders need to be able to portray effective communication. Leaders with poor communication skills tend to veer into the command and control leadership. Leadership style, which is only effective in certain things. Okay, thank you, Sir Vance. All right, so first, communication. Yan. Kapag tayo po ay, um, tayo po ay, hindi na develop, if our communication skills are not developed, or just our communication skill is not developed, mahihirapan po tayo. Because this is where misinterpretation really takes place or really happens. If if we have if we fail to develop our communication skills, tayo po ba ay naharanas na na misinterpret tayo or na misunderstand tayo ng ating kasamahan before? Okay, if you have that experience, please comment yes in the chat box or type in the chat box. Kung tayo po ba ay na misunderstood, you say uh, you just reply with yes or. Or no. Okay, Sir Manolito, sorry, I have to, because this is a really, I think, a big yes. Ikaw po talaga yung unang naka-respond. May we know, paano, ano pong nangyari, bakit kayo na-misunderstood? Or na, ano pong nangyari, Sir Manolito? Uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, I think, sir, uh, you know, I, I, I am part of the academe, so... Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes in the academe we communicate uh, verbal or and non verbal non verbal uh -huh. and sometimes if we cannot verbalize our non verbal actions that's the that's the that's the beginning of miscommunication so it's always like in the everyday life in the academe you have to somewhat the verbal thing should be very clear to others eh, because if you put it on a non-verbal basis uh there's there will be a communication gap so i i think more or less general yung sinabi ko sir no but mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah that's the that's the that's the problem kasi, uh, yeah. with regard to communication exactly yeah thank you so much sir manolito and that's actually the root cause of most of the misunderstandings and miscommunication though it, it's in a general of course we cannot we um it's it's safer <laughs> it's safer to to use the jet the general example because that is where and how misunderstandings miscommunication really um uh, started so yan kapag yung ating um pero kahit nga meron tayong ginagawa or la tayong ginagawa these inter these miscommunications are inevitable especially if the ones 
I mean the second party or the third party or the, the your um uh, co-employees, your workmates, have not developed their uh, communication skills as well, because. Parang ano yan eh, two way, uh, it's a two-edged sword. When you develop your communication skills, you tend to also adopt and understand that we have different ways of communication. We have different ways of expressing ourselves. All right. If we have the if we can, if we if we develop our communication skills, na intindihan natin na ito, ah, ganito, ganito, ganito na lang siya siguro, no? Uh, ganito lang talaga siya, tahimik, it doesn't mean a snob siya, but Tahimik lang talaga siya. So, or may mga times na um, the way we we verbalize things, not just, you know, like gaya ng sinabi ni Sir Manolito, the non-verbal cues that we cannot verbalize are most often the cause of uh, miscommunication. But in that way, I think parang kasalanan na nila yun, no? that, that, that they have uh, done that one. But if we, like... Um, if we become aware of it, so it's also good to verbally really explain or talk to that person, okay? But it is also a good wake-up call for us to be cautious of our cautious of our actions. Of um, kaya nga talagang kailangan natin develop yung ating interpersonal skills because it is getting to know these people and we appropriate our communication strategy or a communication style. If may mga tao that they are very sensitive to these kinds of words which are others are not which others are not sensitive about pag may mga tao ganun, we have to um, we have to meet halfway. Also kailangan talagang uh, we also verbalize, especially during our meetings, if may mga napansin kang or may nalaman kang um, uh, there were people who, who were offended by your words and by your actions also to try to explain yourself. Although you don't owe they you, they don't um you don't owe them an explanation but for the sake of not you know tear, tearing the bonding the uh the team teamwork that you have we have to address communication problems as soon as possible all right because sooner or later you become a leader you have to really take you have to validate and take these feelings of your workmates uh towards you kailangan kung may na offend ka as a leader even if you are the leader, you still have to um, verbally explain what happened or, you know, try to communicate with them. All right. I have, Sir Ma Marian says, I have always been misunderstood by those who don't know me well enough because of my tone of voice. Sabi nga nila, Ma Marian, most of the mis in uh, most of the conflicts that arise in a company or in a workplace are be not because of what we said but by the way we said we said it the way we say things right so in that case if merong ganun po na because of your tone of voice it's good to really um explain yourself during meetings or during casual conversation it's always good to explain yourself na oh, ganito lang talaga ako magsalita ha baka may may may, may misinterpret kayo or may ma offend the way i say things um just tell me so Things like that. It's also good to tell people that you're open, your communication is open whenever they have these um, untoward, um, you know, um, unpleasant feelings towards you. I think Sir Junma is raising his hand. Does I do you have anything to share, Sir Junmar? About uh, yes, communication? Sir. Yes. Since <laughs> dito din naman tayo ang dalawa, din ba? So yeah. I guess everyone would agree with me that when we when we talk about communication skills, we cannot solely put the blame onto the speaker if you know the communication goes wrong because i believe also that it may happen sometimes but you know a uh, communication may actually go wrong or go awry mm -hmm. if the the receiver itself of the message is not responding yeah. too well just like what we have done um just like the saying goes that it takes two to tango you cannot tango mm -hmm. alone di ba? So yeah. for the communication to be, uh, the, this communication process to be powerful and to be effective, we have to be a good, you know, message receiver and a good speaker as well. No, yeah. parang, kung ganun lang, di ba? It's, it's a yeah. two-way communication, di ba? Exactly. Thank you so much for that, uh, Sir Jun Mar. That was a, gr a great insight about communication as a two-way process. 
um, it has to be equally performed by the sender and the receiver. Yan. Um, sometimes nga yung, yung miscommunication comes from the third party because in between the sender and the receiver, merong mga marites, <laughs> merong, mga nag, uh, merong mga interference, things like that. But again, the good thing... I am, um, the th yeah, the thing that we have... Kasi nagkakaroon lang naman, di ba, sir, ng misinterpretation kasi nag interpret lang naman is the receiver. So, uh -huh. if he interpreted it on a different way, syempre, siya yung may problema. Di ba? Exactly. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, he, he or she is accountable to her feelings na. Right? Because, um, yan. Kaya nga, even if that happens, let us always remember that we are a team. At lahat naman na pag-uusapan, we have to use our communication in the best way possible. This is a good venue to talk about that. No? Uh, may mga ta tao kasi na they are too entitled of their feelings. That if they feel that way, ito ganyan. But um, as long as you have done your part to protect that, um, to, to protect the teamwork that you ha or are trying to establish. Mahirap din naman kasi kapag nasa isang opisina lang kayo at hindi kayo nagpapansinan or yeah, and, and, na, it nakakompromise yung quality ng ating output. So, ng ating uh, work. Communication pa lang yun, ah. <laughs> so, what about the other element or the other interpersonal skills? So, we have active listening. I'll be asking Sir David. Uh, may, may, say, um, may Sir David read to us? about active listening if sir david is unable to unmute her his microphone i'll be asking mom zoe hello po good afternoon hello po uh what uh, active listening listen to understand not to merely reply pay attention to each person you converse with and ask yourself what you can learn from that conversation. Let the members of your team know that you hear them. This will help them stay engaged and make them more willing to provide feedback when you request it. Okay, thank you. So active listening, rather than being a passive listener, mas maganda talaga that you actively listen. The reason why our ears are situated over our mouth, because remember that in a hierarchy, most of the time, ko ano yung nasa mata mataas na position, yun ang dapat nating prioritize in the uh, inverted pyramid um, uh, scheme. So makinig muna because a lot of of conflicts happen is because we say words first that we're not. Um, that we're not supposed to come out from our mouth kasi hindi mo na tayo nakinig sa situation, hindi mo na tayo nakinig sa uh, feelings and emotions ng, ng, or ng, ng ideas ng iba, especially if we are the leaders. Okay, we are the process owners. We are, um, yeah, we are the, 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 yeah, the leader, as I was saying, the manager, supervisor, or kahit na nga, uh, you are just, you are one of the employees nakikinig tayo dapat sa um, sa ideas ng iba. Kasi merong iba na they invalidate or they do not um, listen to what was shared during, for example, mga meetings. Ito kasi naman, talagang yung meetings ang lagi nating um, it, it is a, one of the one of the one of the activities in our workplace that we're, where we are gathered together most of us. So sa mga may mga meetings na Diba? we have to we have to accept ideas we have to to welcome accommodate um, suggestions pero hindi pa natatapos yung iba hindi tayo nakikinig or things like that so again if people don't listen to us they might feel um unappreciated they might feel and um they're that they're not valuable member of the organization when we listen to them they feel better about themselves they feel good they they feel that uh, their words are valued, okay. Their their being a member is important. Their presence is important. That is why we have to actively listen to people, kasi nga yun um it it makes them feel good that na sila ay pinakikinggan tayo nga no. May mga times tayo kahit na kaibigan lang natin, pag hindi nakikinig sa atin, nagagalit tayo or we become annoyed <laughs> kasi hindi ka nakikinig tapos may 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 sapak pang dala no. So, 
ayan, this in the same way others would also feel offended if they are not being listened to so let the members of your team know that you hear them let them know that they are valued whatever uh, they share so do not invalidate their suggestions kahit na sabihin nating ano ba yung suggestion na yon napaka low naman or napaka napaka uh, kumbaga out of this world but you still have to uh, to to welcome that process the suggestion and uh, make them understand why the suggestion was not taken all right so ganun and next feedback sir david si sir david po ba ay nakapagbasa late kanina <laughs> sir david hindi po hindi pa right. po okay feedback sir david yeah Get i away. i I, I posted my ah, I, I posted my comments sa chat box ko about listening. Yeah, okay. Allow listening. me to read this, Sir David, muna. Listening increases your capacity as a leader. We can always learn from those around us, including our direct reports. Effective listening gives you knowledge and perspectives that increase your leadership capacity. So being open to feedback and new ideas from your team helps you learn and grow as a leader. Exactly. Sir David, kayo po ba ay handling how many people? More than 200. Oh, more than 200. I see. And what's your best practice when it comes to listening, sir, during meetings? How do you accommodate um, pe the people? Mm -mm. What? Uh, how do you listen? Because 200, sir, ang dami, no? But how do we um, accommodate all their... <laughs> Suggestions. May mga times. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Open po ang with feedback. Open ang communication, both vertical and lateral. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir David. Meron ba tayong mga suggestion box sa ating office? Meron po. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you, sir David. Uh, by the way, sir David, may I, I request you to read what is written on the our screen here? Yes, sir. About feedback. Okay, take it away, sir David. Feedback is essential for many reasons. The first and most obvious reason is that you want to maintain a consistently high level of performance from your staff. It is hugely, hugely valuable to you and the company by calling your employees what they are doing well along with what needs improvement okay thank you sir david yes feedback talagang importante like uh kanina gusto ko siyang relate with um with active listening kasi the feedback is very important taking these feedback across in a in a vertical and horizontal direction um, walang position position because yeah. we don't know feedback um, good feedback comes from those hindi natin hindi, hindi natin determine talaga yan hindi natin alam may mga feedback na kailangan nating malaman even in the you know, lower positions in the organizational structure so we have to be really welcoming and uh, uh, open tayo sa feedback and nasabi kanina ni Sir Dave na meron silang suggestion box sa kanilang uh, office that's one way of uh, getting feedback from the customers taking yeah because if you have if you allow feedback uh, if you acknowledge this feedback and do something about it very important to do something about the feedback uh, people whoever they are including the our clients diba? talagang sila yung main uh, one of the main uh, persons that we have to listen to in terms of feedback kasi sila yung ating uh, talagang they are the key persons why we are doing what we do in the company according to sir david feedback is critical when in a leadership position because it enables supervisors and managers to identify potential conflict between employees no kahit hindi pa nangyayari feedback the feedback will help prevent uh, even the worst case scenarios that might happen okay leaders have their, their employees. All right. So, talaga importante. Iba kasi, may mga instances, this is a huge mistake of uh, of of some leaders na ayaw na nilang kapag merong feedback, they react negatively 
Oh, it's a big no no. They react like negatively to this feedback because they feel offended that they are being criticized. And it is actually not that. We have to take these feedback as constructive criticisms for us to develop and, of course, our company in general. All right. Now let's go to um, Mom, Maylene. Is it okay, even if you're traveling? Is it okay to call you and uh, yeah, let you read? Uh, good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon, ma'am. Be as honest and transparent with your employees as possible, especially in times of crisis. Everyone will look to you for guidance, so it's up to you to give them reason to trust what you say and how you act. In the same token, display trust in your employees by not micromanaging them. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, my Maylene, <laughs> right, my Maylene. Yes, trust and honesty. Ika nga, kapag trust yung nasira, talagang mahirap nang ibalik. It's like a, a, a glass that is broken, may babalik mo, pero magkakalamat na. So, we have to be very careful. Uh, we have to be, to be, um, you have to treat trust as, 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 as a gem. It's very precious. And, Honesty, transparency, this is just one of those ways we can protect this the, the trust. Tayo ba ay pinagkakatiwalaan sa ating company? Remember, if we can be trusted with little, we can we can be trusted with more. Right? Kapag kahit sa maliit na bagay, pag lalag in, I mean, pag, pag uh, lalagay ng tamang oras, kung kailan talaga tayo, nag time in, time out, pag lalagay ng uh, pagsasabi ng you no, know, no. Telling people about if 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 you have uh, done the project or really religiously or tayo ay nagma manipulate ng data things like that. So we have to be as honest and transparent. Because pwede ito, pwede na talaga itong kitanggal natin. People would not trust you if they hear just even a little about a little thing that is negative about you. Mahirapan sila. So um, it's good to also know. If people trust you, right? It's really good and comforting to know if people trust you. Because um, maybe that's the reason why they don't accept the task that you give them. Because you don't tell them why. You just let them do. You're not transparent about why they're doing that. Okay. How do we... Are you adding transparency then if we are handling money? If we are, if we ha we are in the position where we handle money, budget, okay? How transparent are we? So kapag kasi dun na, pag pera kasi ang pinag-uusapan, very critical ang mga tao, right? So kapag merong pera ang pinag-uusapan, you have to be as much as possible. Not just, honesty is okay. Actually, honesty is good. If you tell yourself that you're honest, it's okay. But there is no a concrete proof for you to, to, to um, you know, to convince them that you're honest. It is in the transparency board or transparency report, financial reports, things like that. You have that's the concrete one of the concrete proofs or evidences that you know you are really trans uh, honest. Okay, because kapag wala silang nakikita, marami silang may isip, right? So we have to really present them with proofs. People are visual. Kailangan nila ng ebidensya. If we say I'm honest, you're honest. Okay, you're, it's good. It's good because you know yourself very well. But how do people know you? Does that go? Does that uh, go with the, the way you you see yourself? Yun. So, sabi nga nila, walk your talk. All right. Okay. So di display trust in your employees because trust again is a like give and take um thing. You give you give trust to them and you will they will also give their trust to you. Okay? Kailang parang kaliwaan siya. Ika nga. All right. Now, self-awareness. I'd like to hear the voice of, uh, for this, Sir Ricky. Sir Ricky, are you good with uh, turning on your microphone? What about is this ma'am or sir jmg good afternoon sir answer okay, sir. <laughs> no problem 
<laughs> um, self-awareness. Be self-reflective about your own strengths and weaknesses, so you can be, so you can tap the right resources and do what's best for the company. You also need the ability to adjust your approach to the situation at hand. For example, if you are used to an autocratic approach but are now in charge of a team project, you'll need to acknowledge your usual style may not work. Okay, thank you, sir. Ricky, yeah, and self-awareness. You have to be self-reflective. Before that, uh, before going there, yan, balikan muna natin, ah, later na lang. So be self-reflective. It's also good. Do we do this one? Uh, at the end of the day, do we think if, uh, no, no problem, sir. Okay, uh, do we think, um, or do we do this regularly, yung nagre-reflect tayo at the end of the day, iniisip pa rin natin yung work, no? Um, meron ba akong, mabaga, di ba? Sometimes we reflect talaga kung if we are productive, or day was productive or not. If meron ba tayong natulungan today or not, or wala, meron ba tayong nakagalitan or wala, if there was a conflict uh, that involved us, Ano kaya ang nangyari? Baka siguro ako ang may problema. Things like that. We do um, do self-reflection, sometimes intentionally, sometimes unintentionally. We reflect kung saan na ba ako? Okay? Saan na ba kami? Saan na ba? Meron pa ba bang tayo? Ay, mali. <laughs> um, you, you, you tend to ask yourself kung saan ka na. Professionally, di ba? Our, our um, levels, our career. Am I doing what I... Um, am I doing what I really love to do? Um, nag improve pa ba ako? Okay? So, it's a good, um, it's a good thing. It's a good self thing that we reflect about our strengths and weaknesses and saan kaya tayo nagiging sensitive, saan kaya tayo mahina, saan ka strong. Okay? So, you can tap the right resources and do what's the best for your company. If you do, self-reflection or you become self-reflective mas alam mo kung anong nangyayari sometimes kasi may your yourself knows your subconscious no may mga subconscious times tayo may times tayo na subconsciously we know things kaya lang hindi natin masyadong naririnig yung self natin okay kahit nasa inyo may problema na pala you just didn't know that there's already problem because you're not listening to yourself. Meron ka na palang inindang sakit. Meron ka na palang um, heart, uh, hurt feelings. Hurt feelings. I mean, so, importante that we, 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 we do self-reflection. You also need the ability to adjust your approach to the situation at hand. Kasi meron mga times that we look at things on one perspective. With self-reflection, we tend to become um more empathic or empathetic no we become more uh we become more understanding kasi we during the self reflection it's taking your me time parang ganun you tend to reflect sometimes on the perspective of others baka ganito kasi ganito siya baka lang siguro masyado siyang uh, may mga problem siya sa bahay nila kaya ganun ang nangyari things like that there's an example here. If you are used to an autocratic approach but are now in a charge of a team project, you'll need to acknowledge your usual style may not work. Okay? Iba-iba kasi yung culture ng bawat team. Iba-iba din yung uh, may, may individual differences tayong tinatawag. So we have to sometimes think well. And may mga times kasi na, na, na nag, wala lang, na, na, bigla lang tayong napaisip. Yung mga bigla lang tayong napaisip ng mga bagay-bagay. If kayo po ay nagko-commute, right? If kayo po ay, uh, yeah, if you are commuting, di ba, may mga times nag-iisip ka sa jeep, sa taxi, kung saan man, kayo sumasakay pa uwi, kung anong nangyari, what transpired on your day, anong mga bagay yung na-accomplish nyo, ano yung mga bagay na hindi nyo ano-accomplish, anong naging problem. I hope ginagawa natin yun kasi these are the times when we sit down when we take our coffee, when we drink our coffee silently, these are the times that we, uh, you know, get a better understanding of the situation at hand. All right. So next is, oh, Sir Romnick, sorry. I think, can I be heard? Is, is, it, is it fine? 
Okay lang po ba? Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sir Romnick, paki-check na lang po ng ating um audio setting. Okay. So for the for compassion and empathy, I'll just um talk about this a while ago. I'll be asking Mom Che. Hello, Mom Che. <laughs> Hi, no, sir. Good afternoon, po. Po. Good afternoon. Compassion and empathy. These two skills go hand in hand with self awareness. With these skills, you can understand others' thoughts and feelings. When you are able to see a situation from others' perspective, you help to build trust and make people feel like humans and not just an employee ID. Okay, thank you so much, Mom Che. Compassion and empathy. When you, when you develop this in you, compassion and empathy, you tend to uh, understand that things, situations are not just about you, okay? It's not about you. It's not about us, okay? Um, if we used to live a life na iniisip lang natin yung sarili natin, we are independent, it's time for us to, you know, go a uh, higher level of being uh, of humanity. Yung sinasabi nga nila na that uh, a lot of people have restored their faith in humanity because they see people who are compassionate and um, empathic or empathetic. They're both actually accepted. Kapag we display this one, people would would have a high regard on you. Parang mas re-respetuhin kanila pag they see that you're a person of compassion and empathy. Parang ang hirap-hirap bastusin ng tao no na mabait kasi this compassion and empathy in a in a uh, common perception of people yung mabait ganyan yan. Uh, mabait kasi maunawain, you know, mapagmahal, they care for people for for their feelings, for the situation. And so on. When you are able to see situation from another perspective, mahirap yan. It's a higher level of 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 of. Uh, it's not just sympathy because sympathy is just naawa ka, nakakaawa. You, you might be doing something, but not too much compared to when you feel the empathy. Because kapag you reach this this level of um of feeling, may intindihan mo talaga kung ano yung sitwasyon ng isang tao. Kasi kung awa lang, it's pure emotion. That's sympathy. Um, tumutulong ka. But with empathy, tutulong ka in a way that is sustainable, that is lasting, that is more effective. Kasi nga, alam mo na kung ano talaga yung kailangan nila. Okay? Things like that. And uh, yes, compassion, it's hard to, it would be hard it's hard not to be lovable if we are compassionate. Okay? Ang mga tao talagang, di ba, maraming maraming taong, kumbaga bumuboto sa mga taong nakakakita sila ng may compassion. Yan talaga ang unang heart-melting uh, trait ng isang kumakandidato or, or sa mga taong nasa posisyon. Our our manager supervisors kahit nga in the school context yung mga bata gustong-gusto nilang maging uh, maging teacher nila yung mabait yung caring no the compassionate hindi yung stricta all right kasi if they have that perspective minsan not all but madalas um takot sila and they they wouldn't take any yung kanilang kumbaga yung kanilang cognitive level is sometimes um, interfered by their fear. Yan. Lessened. Now, in the context of the organization, kapag boss natin, takot tayo, minsan, naitatago natin yung galing natin. In, takot tayong i-share ko ano, ano yung um, suggestions, ano yung mga ideas natin na kung na sana nakatulong sa company big time. All right. Okay, balikan ko muna itong uh, sa self-awareness because Sir David is really really raising great points here in the chat box. I hope everyone is also reading. Um, again, I believe that there's no monopoly. No one monopolizes knowledge and uh, we can learn from each other's experience and uh, points of view. He said here, 
He says, self-awareness is an essential trait of a great leader. I agree ako dyan. By knowing your values, personality, your needs, your habits, emotions, and how they affect your actions and the actions of others, you'll be better able to manage your stress. Diba? Kapag uh, we become self-reflective and uh, self-aware, more self-aware, nakakagaan siya you try to you try to weigh things if uh you your what you're feeling is helping you or not diba may mga times na ganun is what are the feelings that you have to terminate what are the feelings that you can um acknowledge all right nakakabawas ng stress ano ba yung okay we become more selective and when we become more selective we become more effective okay and becoming self uh, becoming a selective that is through self-reflection. Ano ba yung mga dapat, ano ba yung mga mga nakakatulong sa akin, ano ba yung hindi? It encourages leaders to understand the root cause behind poor performance, being self and with others. Being empathetic um, allows leaders to help struggling employees improve and excel. Empathy allows leaders to build and develop relationships with those they lead. Exactly. And this is the very reason why companies have low employee turnover. Kumbaga, marami ang ayaw umalis kasi napamahal sila sa boss nila because their boss is like a father or mother figure to them. Um, na although, although may, mga point, may mga times na strict ang boss nila, pero alam nila that 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 their boss is caring they used to know they they know that their boss really cares for them that's why lahat ng gagawin ng boss nila there's no way that they would inter misinterpret that because they have high high regard to their boss alam nila yung boss nila is compassion and empathy and everything that their supervisors or managers do um they would associate that to compassion and empathy okay so things like that all right thank you so much david now let's go to Selflessness. I also like to other to hear others through the chat box. No, you are very free to um to comment. You say you can say um great idea, sir. I like that. <laughs> Same here, deba boy na boy ang chat box gusto ko yan. Okay, let's go to selflessness. All right, I'd like to um hear Sir Ronald. Sir Ronald, are you here? Okay, what about Mom Florenda? Mom Florenda? Or Mom hello, Vanessa? Hello, hello. Oh, okay, hello. Mom Florenda, hello po. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, may you read to us po yung selflessness dito sa ating screen. Thank you. Your team is more likely to trust you and your leadership if they believe you have the best interest of the company at heart and not the best interest of your own career. Show your employees that they are priority and are valued members of the company through incentives, investment in their professional development. Hi, sir, Ma David. Hello, ma'am. Ma um, yes. Okay, ma'am. Florenda, sorry po. Ma'am Florenda, meron na po ba kayong mga natanggap na incentives from your company? Because mm, of your a lot, sir. Because uh, wow. we are an SUC, so we have uh -huh. a lot of incentives. I, are these incentives because of your performance? Yes, sir. It is based mm. on our performance. Okay, thank you, ma'am Florenda. Yes, um, it's good that our, our team would more likely trust us because of our uh, leadership. You know that if they see that that you are you are the kind of leader who thinks uh the best interest of the company walang bias no uh walang makitang other motives okay and makasi makikita mo talaga sa tao no if the things that they do are there for own are are there you know uh, for the company for the organization I'd like to incorporate i mean i'd like to have this example sa ito yung nakikita kong uh, nasa problema ngayon in the in the in the academe um marami yung gumagawa ng mga programs and projects because of 
promotion, just because of the promotion researches, programs, projects, because of their own first, um, their own promotion, not really for the development of, of the school or the development of the education in general. Para ang nagiging trend na ngayon, nag-take ng master's and um, ng, ng, ng further studies ang mga tao is because of this. Yeah, that comes as actually, that's also good. Pero marami kasi kaming programs and projects na nakatenga na lang because uh, promoted na sila. Sayang po yung mga programs and projects na naiwan po nila. Um, yeah, that, that, that was also waste of, although I'm not really saying the waste of resources siya kasi they also serve their purpose at time. But ngayon, sayang yung na-invest na resources in Uh, yeah, na uh, resources and uh, money. So things like that. So talagang in everything that we do, makikita talaga yan in our actions, whether we like with whether we hide it or not, makikita yan. Kasi y- your feelings, your motives would really come out whether whether kung um sooner or later, no. Now we have to show our employees that they're a priority and are valued members. of the company and that is through selflessness. Minsan nga, no, uh, sa ating mga, may mga boss at supervisor tayo na inuuna talaga, uh, talagang parang, kumbaga, sa atin, heroic deed ang ginagawa nila. They think of us first before anything else. They fight for us. And this is a good boss that is also worth fighting for. No, yung may boss na po ba kayo na ipaglalaban mo talaga siya? <laughs> no, kapag may uh, he or she goes through something, no? Ito yung mga boss that were selfless kasi nag-invest sila uh, to you. So let's have yeah, a leader who models selflessness inspires trust and confidence. People believe that they will be supported and protected. Okay. Thank you Sir David. for that uh, insight. And when the leader, yeah, this is also a good point to to emphasize. When a leader becomes selfless, kasi nagiging, ano kasi yan eh, uh, it re- reciprocates eh, no? It's em- emulating. Kung baga, ka- kokopyahin yan. Tayo tayo kasi mga tao, copy-paste tayo. By nature, may mga times na copy-paste tayo. At pag nakita natin yan sa leaders natin, that they are they are selfless ano who are they, they would think na sino ba ako para para isipin ko yung sarili ko at times na kapag kapag uh, their boss their supervisor or anyone even in any anyone in the company would ask for help they would not think twice to help kasi kasi uh, nakita nila na sa boss boss nga nila extend extends a hand to others no selfless So who would who who am I not to also offer my my help? Para magiging culture siya, and it's also good. It's really a good um thing to be. Sana ito yung pinapauso natin, no? The culture of selflessness. All right. Now activity time, everyone. So let's see. Sino dito ang mga keyboard warriors? Um, if you're not, if you're new to this or to this activity, may mga may letters tayo. Um, they are disarranged and now you're going to arrange them. This jumble words activity. So you guess the word? <laughs> These are the words that we um, discussed uh, previously. So ready? Stretch your hands and let's have the first one. Go. Helplessness. <laughs> okay. So it's selflessness. Self- selfless. Ness. Okay, thank you Sir Sir David. <laughs> Nakalimutan ko ding sabihin na dapat pala nakat nakat ah, ba, yeah, keyboard warriors. Okay. So, I'll take that, but Mary Anna, Ma Mary Anna guess uh responded first. Okay. So, Ma Mary Ann. Right. So, selflessness. Let's go to again, ready? Stretch your hands, your fingers. Ready and let's have the second one. Awareness. 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 All right. So, excitement. Uh, but I cannot monitor who responded first. 
<laughs> awareness was the first one. <laughs> okay. That was good. In the, sige, meron na tayong dalawang ano, winners sa um, sa uh, real time in the, the chat box. Okay. Low awareness. Mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> All right. Okay, Mom Zoe uh, responded first with feedback. feedback. <laughs> All right, feedback pala yun. All right, so thank you. And uh, let's have the last one. Uh. Skills. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> what? Who's that? Skills, sorry po. Sino yun? <laughs> Okay, I, I I didn't think it was Sir Dave, uh, David. Sir, uh, no, not I'm me. Sir Ricky. Okay, sir, it Arthur. was Sir, sir Ricky. You, yes. <laughs> Hello, Sir Ricky. Skills. Okay, skills. Uh, uh real time we have. <laughs> Ma Mary Ann, sa chat box. Okay, skills. Thank you. All right, so that was fun. It was uh, to break the monotony. <laughs> uh, the, let's go to interpersonal leadership skills. Okay. Sir David, take it away. Please read to us what are interpersonal skills. Interpersonal. Huh? Intrapersonal. Interpersonal. Yeah. Interpersonal okay. within the self. The skills are the internal abilities and behavior that help you manage emotions, cope with challenges, and learn new information. These skills, which uh, relate to emotional intelligence, include things like self-confidence. Okay, Sir David, I'd like to ask: um, if you if you rate yourself, if you uh, assess yourself, san kaya kayo mas mas magaling or which is uh, more superior to you to your skills, intrapersonal or your interpersonal? San kaya kayo mas? Isa lang, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So I can, if I if I assess myself, sir, I think I am. Uh, I have, that, sir, is it equal yeah. or my superior, my superior, isa sa inyo? Ano po kaya? Uh, extrovert, ako, sir. <laughs> ah, yeah, same here. I'm also extrovert. Sometimes I listen really to others. Sometimes I forget to uh, to listen to myself. I'm more people person than uh, I deal with yeah. myself more. Same tayo, sir? <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you, sir, David. Yes, when you are an extrovert, you all just like to, to, to see people, to talk to them, to hear them, listen. Uh, sometimes, wala na tayong time para sa self natin, right? <laughs> we forget to date ourselves and uh, talk to ourselves sometimes, but yeah, it. I believe we also improve both uh, because we know that they are more they're important. All right. Sir Ricky anyway. introvert. <laughs> si Sir Ricky introvert. Ay, Sir Ricky, paayo po ba kayo doon? Kayo po daw ay more of an uh, introvert than extro. Uh, oh, you are ambivert. Opo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Parang si Sir no um, um formal <laughs> ano parang hindi masyadong masalita <laughs> okay sir so sir Ricky lagi kayong sumama kay sir David ha para mag uh, para mahawaan ka ng kanyang ka, ka very fun kayo po uh, ba good afternoon ah okay sir Ricky yeah all right ayun <laughs> sir Ricky well, let's go to um this one so what are interpersonal skills? These are skills that are all about self-awareness and controlling your own internal attitude and inner processes. Your intrapersonal skills form the foundation in which you build your relationships with others because they help you more easily navigate your interpersonal relationships. Yes. So what, like what was said, nakakatulong itong intraper intrapersonal to navigate your interpersonal skills. Like what was raised a while ago it was greatly emphasized now how can we get to know other people if we fail to know ourselves first right how can we 
uh, but there are instances like that actually reverse yung 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 um process it it is um subjective kumbaga may iba kasi that they just they tend to but in some cases they they tend to get to know themselves better when they you know get other, get to know other people kumbaga they as they 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 self assess they self become self reflective ah oh, ganito siya ako ganito ako diba in comparing um different different personalities that you deal with you tend to become more understanding of yourself ah ganito pala ako another thing um yung mga pagkaka yung pagkakaiba yung mga mga ayaw mo na realize mo when you meet people ay ayaw ko pala sa maiingay <laughs> ay ayaw ko pala sa mga ano sa mga ganito ganyan no so you tend to get to know yourself better when you deal when you go out from your comfort zone and you get along with people yes the interpersonal skills are really important because they help you navigate your interpersonal skills yung mga ayaw mo when you when you uh, tend to uh, when you already understand what are the things that um that what are your weaknesses and your strengths the things that make you easily offend or i mean the the things that easily offend you for example ayo mo nang maingay ayo mo hindi ka na lang pumupunta sa mga masyadong parang parang um sa crowd no pag may mga may mga nagchichismis sa office you just you know distant yourself kasi ayo mo nang 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 chismis or things like that so yes all right and you just uh appropriate yeah your action next is let's watch this video okay All right, thank you. Yeah, and so, um, eto mga bagay na kailangan nating you know, when we have 
when we develop our interpersonal skills, we become reflective. We know our strength and limitation. Nalalaman natin kung ano yung dapat natin iwasan, ano yung kaya lang natin i-bear, and so on. Kaya um, we would avoid more self-damages. No? Kasi alam natin sa sarili natin what are our strengths and weaknesses, what we can bear, what we can do, and what we cannot do. All right? And we also try to test. You know, We take measured risk. Nga, sabi nila. We try to test ourselves, but on a, on a scale na yung kaya lang natin i-bear yung consequences because we know ourselves na better. Okay? Even if we engage ourselves to something new and unknown, we uh, just regulate. No, we, t we have a control most of the time what will happen. All right. Now, I'd like everyone to... <laughs> Sir Ricky, salamat po. Um, again, by the way, I, I forgot to emphasize. Introvert, extrovert, ambivert, ambivert kahit anong vert yan. Kung baga sa Bisaya pa, importante buhi. <laughs> Yung mahalaga buhay or mahalaga that we are, uh, we are human. You are, we're human. We're living. And we get along with people. Okay. So um, one question that I'd like everyone to respond in th uh, through the chat box. How do we know ourselves better? Um, how, how much do we know ourself, ourselves? Rate, your, rate um, that from 1 to 10. Gaano mo kakilala yung sarili mo? Yeah, of course, that depends on... <laughs> how uh, we become we, we are self reflective we take time to assess ourselves ourselves every time ako siguro um i would say i am i'm 9 if i have to rate myself as to my as to you know, you know knowing myself i would rate it 9 because i've gone through many things really and with these experiences and I've also, as an extrovert, I think, Sir David, I'm an extreme extrovert talaga. And by getting along with people and by experiencing a lot of things, latang unus na, no? Uh, we tend to get to know ourselves. Na, kayo ko pala ito. Ah, ganito pala kong tao and things like that. Nakaka-relate po ba kayo, Sir David? Are you extreme extrovert too? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. How do you rate yourself, sir, as to, uh, you know, you know yourself, 1 to 10? 8.5. 8.5? Is that just a due respect sa akin? Kasi 9 na ako. 9.5 talaga, sir. Nakayo na eh. Ako na. Ako dapat daw ang bida ngayon eh. Sige, 8.5 na ako. That's selflessness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sir David, <laughs> for giving me the, the 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 spotlight for today's video. For now, <laughs> thank you. But pero believe na believe po sa inyo si Ma'am Florenda. Are you in the same school? No. Idol ko yan. How do you, uh, paano po Idol ko si Doc Dave. Yeah, Doc Dave po talaga. Wow. Okay, Ma'am Florenda, paano po kayo nakakilala ni Sir Dave? Ah... Uh... Sa mga conference po. Ah, okay. In, in what uh, region po kayo? Columban College is... Region 3. Olongo po. Region 3. Ah, okay. Olongo po. All right. I see, see you there soon. Kung mapadpad ako dyan. Okay. So, thank you po, Ma'am Florendez or Dave. Now, the ability and willingness to cope with as, uh, uncertain, new, and rapidly changing conditions on the job, including responding effectively to emergencies or crisis, situations, and learning new tasks, technologies, and procedures would the adaptability under interpersonal skill. It includes handling work stress, adapting to different personalities, communication styles and cultures, and physical adaptability to various indoor or outdoor work environments. Tayo po, the way we deal our, uh, our stresses, the will, the, I mean, the way we deal with our stresses, what might be effective for one may not be effective for you. Ang iba, meditation works for them. Sa akin talaga, pagkain. Food is my stress reliever. So, iba iba tayo. So we cannot, um, although we can suggest, but we know if we know we know ourselves. Um, na tayo na how do we how we deal with these stresses? So talagang may mga tao na we cannot assert or we cannot insist. Rather, we cannot insist that uh, 
it would be effective, this would be effective for them because we have our different coping mechanisms to um, uncertainties, to new things, okay, to um, existing conditions, emerging problems. Ayan. Okay, so thank you. Mom Lovelia says nine. Ah, thank you. Same here, ma'am. Listen as to what other people suggest feedback to myself constructive criticism so that I realize and correct my mistakes with regards to my character. And with that, Mom Lavelia, you really, um, yeah, there's no question about that nine. Okay. Thank you, Mom. And self-management. All right. Thank you po sa inyong mga responses. Keep your responses coming. Ito po yung mga participants ngayon na so responsive, especially through the chat box. <laughs> Tapos mga nobela talaga yung mga responses niyo. I like it. Okay, I'll be keeping a record of all these responses. Okay, so self-management, another interpersonal skill. This is the ability to work remotely in vir virtual teams, to work autonomously, and to be self-motivating and self-monitoring. One aspect of self-management is the willingness and ability to acquire new information and skills related to work. Ang maganda dito sa self-management is, um, diba? not only that you work, you it, your ability, you have the ability to work remotely. You are man, you can manage yourself. You can manage the pressure. Sabi nga sa pageant, you can manage. Um, na, you become trustworthy and self you, you become dependable because you can manage yourself in times of troubles hindi na minsan pagdating ni boss or supervisor okay na yung problem because you uh since you know how to handle problems in you, your pressures um you facing difficult situations alam mo na kung uh, anong dapat gawin Okay? Kasi may mga impulses tayo. And we, we know, if we know our impulses, yung kumbaga ano yung saan tayo vulnerable or ano yung mga bagay na mali, mali yung ating uh, response, we tend to correct them and control them. Things like that. Yung nagpapanik tayo, that's an impulse. No? Kasi hindi natin, hindi natin masyadong na-acknowledge or na-recognize that we are people that um, are, are susceptible to, you know, panicking or um, you, we cannot work under pressure. So, pag hindi natin in acknowledge yan, we have to acknowledge our weaknesses talaga. Okay? Because in acknowledging our weaknesses, we get to know, we get to um, do the right thing. Alam natin. Kung ano yung mali sa atin, alam natin paano siya i-correct. Okay? Now, one aspect of self-management is the willingness and ability to acquire new information and skills. Because how can you self-manage? How can you manage things well if we lack skills, we lack abilities, we lack, not, we lack knowledge? So, ayan. And last, uh, we have self-awareness. It is the ability to... The ability to focus on yourself and how your actions, thoughts, or emotions do or don't align, align with your internal standards. Practicing self-awareness is about learning to better understand why you feel what you feel and why you behave in a particular way. Okay? So, self-awareness is both interpersonal and intrapersonal skill. If you become aware of the people around you, you know what to do. Because aware ka, yeba. But if you're aware, you have the knowledge of the situation, you have the skill to properly respond to, situ to the situation. Yeah. And if you become aware of yourself, you know ano yung mga bagay na, na dapat mong gawin sa sarili mo, you're aware of the things that, uh, that you don't have control with, yung, alam mo yung mga bagay na, na mga pangit nating ugali, aware tayo. So, we know what to do. Okay? Ayan. All right? So that's why it said that in um, self-awareness is both intrapersonal and interpersonal skills. Flexibility. Ito talaga yung mga hinahanap. Sino ang mga HR dito? Diba? Sometimes, uh, most of the times, ito yung mga sinasabi ng uh, mga interviewees. Okay, what is your what is your strength? Or what is your edge among other applicants? You would say, I'm flexible. 
Tingnan mo, nag-bend ka tuloy. <laughs> nag-split ka tuloy because you're flexible. Kasi sinabi ng boss, ano sinabi ng HR that prove to us that you're flexible. Yan. Split. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Kidding aside, flexibility in leaders is becoming more and more important in our economic and social environment marked by rapid change. Diba? Na-test yung ating pagiging flexible when we transitioned from um, face-to-face to remote remote work environment. Yung, di ba, nagtatrabaho ka sa bahay, nag, naririnig mo yung boses ng mama mo lagi, o naririnig mo yung boses ng asawa mo lagi. Okay? Grabbing adjustment yon, right? Or pag uh, nag-work ka, sa, mas iba kasi yung, di ba, talagang nahi... I don't I don't think it's only the teachers that had a hard time adjusting to the new normal. Okay, lahat tayo nag-adjust. Yung ating work, mas maganda yung may kausap tayo habang nagtatrabaho and things like that. But we we have proven to be flexible. We are flexible in adjusting to adjusting our leadership style, in adjusting our qualities, our traits, in adopting Diba, nag, sometimes nag adapt tayo ng mga qualities. Yung hindi tayo, hindi natin nature, we adopt the new ones. Kaya, nag-learn tayo. Para, para hindi, hindi na ikaw yung dati. Diba, nag-adjust ka, nag-adjust tayo. Para hindi na ikaw yung minahal ko. Ah, <laughs> para hindi na ikaw yung kilala ko. Para you become better version of yourself. It's because you um, learned how to be flexible. Kaya yung ex mo, huh. <laughs> Kaya yung ex mo, babalik-balik, <laughs> wag na. <laughs> Because you have become better by being flexible. Okay, flexible global leaders are able to adapt to change, to revise their plans and overcome challenges and while still achieving their goals. They're willing to try new things and behaviors even in times of radical change. Being flexible will not only serve you during the hiring process. Being flexible will even serve you better when you are ready in the workplace. In any situation, any time, any place. All right? Exactly, Mom, uh, Mary Ann. It's crucial, especially during the pandemic. Okay. Resilience, which you just mentioned, Ma Mary Ann. We are flexible and resilient. They have to come together. This is the ability to cope mentally or emotionally with a crisis or to return to pre return to pre crisis status quickly. Resilience exists when the person uses mental mental processes and behaviors in promoting personal assets and protecting self from the potential negative effects of stressors. Please type in the chat box. Ano po yung mga stressors niyo? Just give me one. Ano po yung mga stressor ninyo? Mukha po ba ng boss niyo? Just kidding. Uh, ito po ba ang... Uh, ito po ba ay um, trabaho? Um, co- co-employee? Co-worker? I mean, or ano po yung stress ninyo? Finances? All right. So, okay. Please type in the chat box. Baka may similarity tayo. Oh, relate much. Ah, finances. It's everyone's experience. <laughs> si Judith is my, um, my, uh, we'll call this one, stressor. Si Judith at saka, yung nakalimutan ko yung isa version ng ganun. Judith and, uh, yeah, forgot. <laughs> okay. Please type in the chat box. It's good to know that uh, we are not alone. Time management or the time. Okay. With Sir Manolito. All right. Bakit niyo po stressor ang time, Sir Manolito? Gusto niyo ba i-stop ko? <laughs> Sir Manolito, I'm curious about your stress uh, with regard to time. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, sir. Um, there's so much to do with ah, little yeah. time kasi. So that, that's what my so uh-huh. ah, about. Same pala tayo, sir. Nag, we, we, ha- we have been dreaming na mag-extend yung time to 24 hours. Nakita akong kainan na 24 hours open. Ay, 25 hours open. Sabi ko, it was, I think, in Davao, parang bat, uh, Bulalo or Batshu yan. 25, 25 hours open. Yan ang kanilang... Um, ang kanilang stress, ang kanilang stress, or ang kanilang um, promotion. So, wow. Sana all, 25 hours. Mama, Ma'am Maylene, working with Pabibo, <laughs> what do you mean by this po? Why is it your stressor? May I know? Who are these Pabibo? Yes po. Uh, sa LGU po, kasi ganyan eh. Yung, yung alam na nila yung, alam na nila na ito yon. Tapos, it, 
papaligoy-ligoyin ka pa nila. Parang waste of time, ganyan. Ah, yung mga ganun po. <laughs> Kasi may mga motibo sila, no? Pabibo. <laughs> yes po. So, so, okay, sana yung pabibo na na very energetic and very fun to work with. Pero ibang pabibo yun. No? <laughs> Hindi po, nakakainis po. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. All right, that's really a challenge, and yeah, to all of you. To you and... Uh, Okay, so what skills will you focus from now on? Uh, what about... Sino po dito? Ano po kaya yung skill na gusto nyo improve? Ma'am Zoe! Ah, Ma'am Zoe! Sorry. Ma'am Zoe, ano po kaya yung skill na gusto nyo i-develop uh, sa inyo ngayon? How about the others? You can respond through the chat box. Ano po yung skill ngay- na yon? Ngayon, ano po yung skill na gusto nyo yung iya? Uh, you can be specific. You can you can also say interpersonal, interpersonal, or you can be more specific. Kung ano yung pagiging um adaptable ba or pagiging ano doon? Before we end, ano po yung skill? Paki-type po sa chat box so we can accommodate everyone. Ang skill na um, gusto nyong i-develop, is it more on selflessness, self-awareness, the feedback, active listening, being a communicator, the, the trust and honesty, compassion and empathy? Let me see in the chat box. No need to explain. Just uh, type the word. Saan po, ano po po sa lahat ng skills at sa lahat ng traits ang gusto nyo ma-improve pa? Sa akin siguro is more on uh, being being flexible, especially sa time. Gaya, parang nakarelate na ako ngayon kay Sir um manulito for having the time as my stressor that's why i really ask i'm on more uh, more of communication <laughs> i like your being a good speaker thank you mom lavelia <laughs> all right okay by the power vested on me by the department of education i am now granting you this ability to speak <laughs> by spirit okay thank you but what about the others uh, any response but bef- so as i welcome your responses um don't forget po if you don't have any questions don't forget to follow us on our social media account www.facebook.com slash slash stcs asia and our website you can get your your um training the training material the video and your certificate of course af- within 24 hours Okay. Yes, thank you so much for your responses. While others are still thinking of what to improve, any questions po? Any questions? If none, yeah, I like this part. Please turn on your video. And let's take a, a, a photo up. Okay. Talaga pong ito, be, let's be very cautious about this. Ipopost ko po kasi siya <laughs> sa page. So, hindi natin gustong and <laughs> so ready on my mark three mom jez and mom vanessa pwede pang humabo three two one and heart pose or this pose okay three two one Yan, di ba Sir Leo, mas maganda pag bagets-bagets tayo, no? Mansan. <laughs> Thank you so much for your attendance. Thank you for attending this training and let us have a very stressful, stressful, no stressful, stress-free life, everyone, by learning more about, getting to know more about ourselves and about people. Have a great time, everyone. See you. And yeah, <laughs> thank you, Paul, Ma'am, Florenda, right. Ma'am Zoe, thank you. Sir David. Thank you so much yes, for being so responsive. You. Sir Leo, Sir Ronald, Ma'am Mary Ann, Ma'am Lavelia, Ma'am Manuli, Sir Manolito, Ma'am Maylene, and Ma'am Che, Ma'am Jezreel, and Sir JMG, I think. Okay. Have a good time. Keep safe, everyone.